And this, of course, is the Contemporary Christian Music Classroom. I'm Professor Jang. It's me, it's me, it's guys. And then I'm Sharon. And, you know, Sharon was telling us this story over the break. Yeah, I had a, a rude awakening last night. Well, well, not rude. Essentially, at first it was rude, but then I realized, like, how grateful I was for it. Um, actually, I was woken up by some police officers at my door this morning, 4.30 or around 4.00. Um, and uh, they let me know that someone had broken into my car, and I guess they had searched through my car to see if, I don't know, whatever they were looking for was in there. Um, and it was quite early, but, uh, you know, as I kind of processed it afterwards, I was happy that the police officers of the town were doing their duty of letting me know, and they uh, waited around to see if anything was missing, and it wasn't, thankfully, it was not missing, but... Um, a little bit of community love. A shout out to the police officers of my town for doing an awesome job. So the moral to the story here is make sure you lock your cars at night before you go in the house. Yeah, definitely. They actually let me know that, that it's a little heightened right now. Um, you know, that they're they're looking for cars that are unlocked. So definitely make sure that your, your cars are locked before you go in for the night. You know, I think the interesting thing about community is that no matter what community you live in, there's always some sort of crime. But there's always lots of good people, too. And I think that the news media has an interesting way of uh, focusing in or honing in on so much negativity that goes on in the community. But I think that if we all take the time to think, we can all think about at least maybe one neighbor or someone who lives somewhere around us who does good for the community or does something positive who people outside of that probably don't even know about. There is a simple reason why the news media focuses a lot more on the negativity than the positivity, and it can be defined in one sentence. If it bleeds, it leads. Anything that has, like, violence or something that happened to Sharon, unfortunately, they will hype on that and just pounce on it and make sure they get... If there's a message in it, they'll try to get it out, but they want to get everything they can out about it. Thank yeah. you, Dr. James Shen. I also think that fear is... Um more of an overwhelming feeling than joy is sometimes mm, you know absolutely. it's more absolutely more powerful you know nobody police officers usually aren't knocking at your door at 4 a.m to tell you that someone had left roses at your doorstep or something so i think that it, it just resonates more and it's more shocking it holds more weight because it's just a powerful emotion you know but i think that um while fear can be a catal a catal a catalytic uh, emotion i think that the power of joy and the power of um, community can actually be brought about in a whole different way. When you stop to think about when people are united to do good, how those movements typically, while they while we might lose sight of them, they typically last longer than people who are united to do something awful. Definitely. I think that we, as just as people, need to work harder on embracing joy more. Um, it's my, it was my brother's birthday. Uh, last week or you know, during last week. And uh, today we actually celebrated. He came down and we sung happy birthday to him. And I was like watching his face as we were singing. And here's like his whole family united together singing a song to him. And he's just so embarrassed, you know, like he's just got that face. And mm -hmm. we all make that face. Um, but this is your family uniting to make a joyful moment. But that's somehow joy can sometimes public joy be, you know, embarrassing. I agree 100%, especially like when it's at the restaurants. I was at the Cheesecake Factory last week, and there were Never three been there. birthdays. Never there were, been there. You need to go. You need to go. You like, have to go. That's, like, that's the new priority of the show. This Not show a is, sponsor, but yikes, this, you got to go. The, the whole purpose of the show is now to convince guys to go to the Cheesecake you, Factory. You don't have to yes. convince me. I already want to go. I just haven't been there. We'll take you. But, Thank uh, you. The, uh, thing Spoiler it, alert, though. It's not a factory. It's a restaurant. Doesn't but, uh, matter. You say cheesecake, I'm interested. Uh, but what I want to want to get to is that that, that that joy that comes with the happy birthday song, it's something that we all know and that we can all share in. And then I think it's just amazing that when you take the time to appreciate what a community has to offer instead of being living in fear of what can harm you, sometimes you can make your community a bit of a better place. Mm. And with that said, this is CCM 101, and we got some music coming up. Swing like the clay one day I'ma make the whole world pay With KOs and OK We bash class 